God called me to volunteer. And that's why I'm here. And volunteering is my way of honoring and glorifying his name. A group of 16 volunteers took Percival by storm today, all in an effort to help rebuild. We're trying to get as much done as quickly as we can before it gets too cold. These volunteers are going into mold infested homes from the water, ripping up carpet and floorboards, hauling away ruined items, anything they can do to try and save these homes. Most of these people have never needed help in their lives and it is a major step for them to say yes I need help and asking for help is the first step and being willing to help is a good step. Mary Sherwood has lived in her home for 62 years and while her entire front entryway has now been ripped up, she says the hardest thing she's had to deal with lately was letting her family know that she won't be able to host Christmas this year. One of the little four-year-old twins said, Grandma Sherwood, are we going to have Christmas at your house? <laughs> so that was kind of hard to, you know, for them to understand why, why they can't have Christmas here this year. And just down the road is Patricia Podolak's home that was completely flooded. And to this day, she struggles with the fact that she might not be able to save her house. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired and I'm just stressed out so bad. You know, I want my family back, you know. These volunteers have decided that as long as they're able, they're going to do everything they can to help each other rebuild. Clark Young, Fox 42 News.